Hi there. Today, I will be guiding you through the user interface of TitleBox. You can see here that this is the user interface of TitleBox. When you first start TitleBox, you will see these two windows. For now, we can dock these windows. To do so, right click on the windows and select Dock in Manager. Now, they're on the right hand side of the screen. Here is the TitleBox workspace. In the workspace, we can insert the objects that we create by using the object palette on the left hand side of the screen. Here is the range of objects. All of these objects can be inserted into and edited within the workspace, from text, crawls, animation objects and much more. We can make the workspace larger by changing the aspect ratio in the top toolbar of TitleBox. And we can also zoom in to improve visibility. If we click the Data Source Manager button next to the Zoom function, we can insert data sources such as XML Data Provider, Emergency Alert Systems, Weather Data Provider and File Link Data Provider. Next to the Data Source Manager button, we can also create a Task Manager. Here we can play an object, stop an object, pause an object and move an object. We can also create a program script using the Pascal programming language. We can also play certain sounds. We can create a GPI task, create a Windows event task, and a standard Windows task using the task manager function. We can also change the color of the workspace and the color of the background area using these options here. To load existing TitleBox projects, you can click the folder button. You can save your TitleBox projects by clicking the save icon next to the folder button. Within the project menu, you can also select which driver you are using currently. I am using Graphics Mixer Output. By clicking on Options within the project menu, you will find a range of options for your TitleBox project. This includes changing the colours of your workspace. In the Network tab, you can view your Channel ID, Net Control Port and Alarm and Control Port. These are your network ports. This is the Output tab. Here is the aspect ratio, which I changed earlier. You can also use GPU acceleration for TitleBox. If you have a quad-core processor or higher, you can enable rectangular rendering. You can also configure the Watchdog component on the Watchdog tab. You can also turn on the Asrun log. This closely resembles the Airbox log. Here, you can track anything that is unusual to the software and troubleshoot it if necessary. Now you should have a basic understanding of the TitleBox user interface. Thanks for watching.